Hi, my name is Tim. Welcome back to my series of screencasts on how to do various things in QGIS. In this screencast I'm going to show you some more advanced things that you can do with the um, delimited text plugin. Um, the things that I'm showing you today will require the upcoming version 1.7 of QGIS. Um, so common scenarios where you have a text file containing information that you want to represent as um, geometries on a map. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the, the workflow that you do to do that and show you how you can actually um, bring in arbitrary geometries using this technique. So um, what I've done here is I've enabled the coordinate capture plugin which you can find under manage plugins, plugins and then manage plugins and then um, you tick over here coordinate capture plugin and I've also enabled the add delimited text layer plugin so make sure those are both enabled okay and then what I'm going to do is I've just opened a, an empty text document and I'm going to put a couple of header lines in there I'm going to call the first one geom and the second one I'm going to call name You'll notice that this symbol over here that I've used, um, called the pipe symbol, is just um, a separator between two fields of information. And then what I'm going to put in the text file is um, a couple of lines of text which represent the geometries that I want to um, bring into QGIS. And um, I'll just save this in my file system somewhere. I'm just going to save it in the temp directory of my file system. and just give it a text extension. Okay, so now I'm going to add a geometry. The way that I'm going to de define the geometry is I'm going to use QGIS to work out where the um, coordinates are. You can see at the bottom of the screen um, over here, it shows you your current coordinate position. But obviously every time you move the mouse to the bottom of the screen that coordinate position changes. So what I want to do is I want to be able to click on the map and just define a simple geometry and then um, capture each, uh, record each point for that geometry. So what I'll do is I'll just, um, in the coordinate capture plugin, I'll click the start capture button over here and that will basically create um, uh, or enable the tool that when I click on the map it creates a small red dot at the point that I clicked on and it sort of freezes a moment in time the position where I clicked which I can then copy to my clipboard and paste into a file. Now let's start off with a simple example so I'll just go like this. You may have used um, the coordinate, uh, the delimited text plugin in a format where you have something like x comma y something like that. So let's give that a try first. Sorry, that should be a pipe delimiter. So those are my field names and these are my field data. And let's try to just bring that in. So I'm just going to use the plugin, um, delimited text layer plugin. I'm going to browse that file. I call it test. I'm going to call it one, something like that. I'm going to specify the delimiter that I used was the pipe symbol and um, you'll see that uh, QGIS has automatically picked up the X and the Y as the um, coordinate fields and it's worked out what the column arrangement is for me. So if I say OK what I do is, uh, OK, I have a small problem here that this layer um, coordinate reference system doesn't match my, my project, so I'm just going to go and specify the coordinate um, reference system here. I'm going to set it to the UTM zone that my other data is in. Okay, so over here you now see the point that I created. Okay, so I could go through that same process by adding more um, rows to this file. Same procedure again. Save it and I'm just going to 
remove that layer just remove that and then just add it in one more time to show you the third dot Okay, so now we have three dots. What if I wanted to import a polygon in the same way? Using this technique, it doesn't really, um, it's not really possible. But if I specify the um, feature geometry as a well-known text um, geometry, then I can do it. So let's try to do something like this. Now the well-known text format is described um, on the OGC's website. And basically, um, for a polygon, I need to specify um, a sequence of coordinate pairs separated by commas. And there can be multiple rings, so I'm specifying only one ring here. And notice that there is a space between the coordinate pairs, between the coordinates themselves, sorry, and then the coordinate pairs are separated by commas. Okay, so I'm going to throw those two lines away. I'm just going to bring in this one line to illustrate. So now what we've done is we specify the geometry as a polygon with three coordinate pairs. I'm actually just going to close off my polygon by specifying again the first coordinate pair. Right, and then I've got my attribute column. So let's save that. Go back to QGIS. We remove this other one we've been using. And now we do the same procedure again. And this time, instead of using XY fields, I'm going to use the well known text field. And I choose the geometry. And see, there's my polygon field that I defined earlier. And then I say OK. And once again, I'm going to set the coordinate reference system to my UTM zone. Now what you're seeing on the screen is a polygon which is imported from my, well, uh, from my delimited text file. You can read up more about the well-known text format on the OGC website um, or you can experiment by um, looking in, um, for example, in Postgres you can say as text if you've got a PostGIS layer um, and um, see what the geometry representation is for various types of features. Using this technique is very powerful. You can bring in all kinds of different geometries just from a simple plain text file. Thanks for watching.